In this video, we will discuss how we can find the diagonal traversal of a binary tree. To find the diagonal traversal, we draw lines of slope minus 1 in the tree. So if this is our x-axis and this is the y-axis, this line has a slope of 1 and this line has a slope of minus 1. So we draw lines which have slope of minus 1. So the diagonal traversal of this tree will be the nodes that lie within these lines. So the nodes are A, Z, C, then D, L, M, P, H and K. So this will be the diagonal traversal of this tree. So we start from the root node, then we go along this line A, Z, C, then the next line D, L, M, P and then the last H and K. So given any binary tree, we have to find the diagonal traversal. So let's see the algorithm for that. So in the algorithm, we consider a distance known as diagonal distance. So this is the distance of the diagonal from the root node. So since the first diagonal passes through the root node, so the distance is zero. And for the next node, which is on right of root Z, the diagonal distance is zero because the diagonal passes through it also. For the next node C, the diagonal distance is again zero because the diagonal which passes through root passes through C also. If we go down and check this node D, so this node is at distance one from the root node. So the diagonal distance is one for node D. For node L, the diagonal distance is one because it will be same as D. For M also it is one, for P also it is one because they are on the same diagonal. For H and K, the diagonal distance would be 2. So we can see a pattern here. Whenever we go to the right, the diagonal distance remains unchanged. And when we go to the left, the diagonal distance is incremented by 1. So we can see here, it is incremented by 1. From Z to M, it is incremented by 1. From C to P, it is incremented by 1. So whenever we go to the right, the diagonal distance would remain the same. And when we go left, the diagonal distance will be incremented by one. So we'll use this property and we'll do a level order traversal of this tree. And while doing a level order traversal, we'll store the diagonal distance of each node in a map. So the nodes which have diagonal distance zero are A, Z and C. Diagonal distance one is of nodes D, L, M and P. For two, it is H and K. And once we have the map filled, we'll just print the contents of the map in the increasing order of the key. First, we'll print AZC because the key, which is 0, is the lowest. Then the next key is DLMP, so we'll print it. And the last is HK. So that will give us the diagonal traversal. So the algorithm is quite similar to level order traversal. We'll just do some small modifications. So if you have any doubts on how the level order traversal works, you can check the link in the top right corner. It would clear all your doubts on the level order traversal. Now let's see the pseudo code for the diagonal traversal. So the data structure that we would require is a hash map that stores the array of node values corresponding to the diagonal distance from the root. So we'll create the hash map here. Then we create a queue of pair tree node and the diagonal distance from the root. So let's create the queue here. Then in the first step, we create a variable maximum diagonal distance, which we initialize with zero. Then we push root comma zero in the queue. So root is a, so we push a comma zero in the queue. Then we run this while loop till the queue is not empty. We come inside it and we check the front of the queue. So front of the queue is a comma zero. So current becomes equal to a, diagonal distance becomes equal to zero. Then we pop from the queue, so the queue becomes empty. Then we update the value of max dd, so it will be maximum of dd and previous value of max dd. So it would remain unchanged because both are equal to zero. Then we append current val to the dd key in the hash map. So dd points to zero. So we create a zero key in the hash map, which maps to node A. Then we check left of A. So left of A is D. So we push D comma one in the queue. Then we check right of A. 
which is z so we push z comma 0 in the q so here we saw when we went to write we did not increment the distance because all the nodes in the diagonal would have the same diagonal distance and when we went to the left we increased the diagonal distance by 1 so we'll follow the same logic and we'll fill the contents of the hash map so in the next iteration current becomes equal to front of q so current becomes d and the diagonal distance becomes 1 then we pop from the q so we remove the front element then we update the value of max dd it becomes 1 then we append current to the one key in the hash map so we create a new key 1 which maps to node d we check left of d which is h so we push h comma 2 in the q we check right of d which is l so we push l comma 1 in the q in the next iteration front of the q is z comma 0 so current is z and the diagonal distance is 0 then we pop from the q so we remove the front element we update max dd so max dd is already greater so there is no change in the max dd variable then we append node z to the zeroth key in the hash map so at zeroth location we have node a so we'll append node z in the zeroth key of the hash map then we check left of z so left of z is m so we push m comma 1 in the q then we check right of z which is c so we push c comma 0 in the q for the next iteration front of the q is h comma 2 so current is h and diagonal distance is 2 then we pop from the q so we remove the front element then we update the value of max dd so it becomes 2 then we append h to the second key in the hash map so we create a new key 2 which maps to h we check left of h so left of h is null so this if condition is false and we check right of h which is k so we push k comma 2 in the q for the next iteration front of the q is l comma 1 so current is l and the diagonal distance is 1 then we pop from the q so we remove the front element so max dd will remain unchanged because it is already greater than dd then we append current to the first key in the hash map so at the first location we have node d so we'll append current which is node l in the first location then we check left of l which is null so this if condition is false and we check right of l which is also null so this if condition is also false in the next iteration current becomes equal to m and the distance is 1 then we pop from the queue so we remove the front element so max dd is still greater than dd so this remains unchanged then we append current to the first key in the hash map so current is m so at the first location we'll append node m then we check left and right of m so both are null so both of these if conditions are false then in the next iteration current becomes equal to front of the queue which is c and the diagonal distance is 0 then we pop from the queue so we remove the front element so max dd remains unchanged because it is already greater than dd then we append current to the zero key in the hash map so at zeroth location we have node a and z so we'll append c at the zeroth location then we check left of c which is p so we push p comma 1 in the q then we check right of c which is null so this if condition is false in the next iteration front of the q is k comma 2 so current becomes k and diagonal distance becomes 2 then we pop from the q then this max dd remains unchanged because it is already equal to dd then we append current to the second key in the hash map so at the second location we have node h so we'll append node k in the second location then we check left and right of node k so both left and right are null so these if conditions are false for node k in the next iteration front of the queue is p comma 1 so current becomes p and the diagonal distance becomes 1 
then we pop from the queue so the queue becomes empty this max td remains unchanged because it is already greater than dd now we append current to the first location in the hash map so at the first location in the map we have nodes d l and m so we'll append node p in the first location then we check left and right of node p so both left and right are null so these if conditions are false in the next iteration we check if the queue is empty so queue is empty so this while loop terminates and the last step of the algorithm is we have to print the values in the hash map so we'll start with the diagonal distance 0 to the max dd so the diagonal distance 0 is for the nodes a z c then the diagonal distance is 1 which is for the nodes d l m and p then the diagonal distance 2 which is for nodes h and k so this is the diagonal traversal of this tree so we simply do a level order traversal of the tree and we store the nodes in a hash map corresponding to the diagonal distance and at the end we print the contents of the hash map so if we look at the time complexity of this program the time complexity is order of n because we have taken an unordered map or a hash map in which the insertion cost is order of 1 we kept this variable max td so as to print the contents of the map so we simply start from the diagonal distance 0 which is for the diagonal starting from the root node and then we print all the way till the max td variable so this would give us the diagonal traversal of the tree so once you've understood this let's have a look at the implementation so all the source code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of that is available here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code in the main function i've created this tree the root node is a the left node is d so in this manner i've initialized all the nodes of the tree then i call this function diagonal traversal in which i pass the root node in this function i first check if the root is null then i return then i create an unordered map in which the key is the diagonal distance and the value is the vector in which i'll store all the nodes then i create a queue of pair tree node and the diagonal distance i push root comma zero in the queue then i keep this variable max td which i initialize with zero then i run this while loop till the queue is not empty i check the front of the queue and i put them in the current and the diagonal distance variable then i pop from the queue and i adjust the value of max td then in this unordered map in the dd key i append the node current so this map will store the nodes corresponding to their diagonal distance then i check left and right of current for the left node if it is not equal to null i push left of current and dd plus one and for the right i push right of current and dd so in this while loop i collect all the values of the tree in this unordered map and in the last step i print the contents of the map starting from the diagonal distance zero to the diagonal distance max dd so this would give me the diagonal traversal of this tree now let's see the output of this program so the diagonal traversal of the tree is a z c d l m p h and k so that was all for this video if you have any doubts or suggestions please leave in the comment section below if you like my content please do like share and subscribe to my channel it really motivates me to make more such content and until next time this is Sandeep Thapar signing off